Welcome back everyone, today we are going to take a look at how to use your 2020 add-ons in the new Flight Sim 2024. The simple answer is, well, just copy them over to your community folder of 2024. And the elegant answer is, well, I am sure that a lot of you are already using it, given the number of downloads it has. It is nothing less but the MSFS add-ons linker. In the case that you don't know what this actually does, let me explain that to you real quick. Let's start by explaining what the actual problem is, or rather was, because this developer had a solution for 2020 already. So basically, whenever you want to add a new third-party add-on to your flight simulator, usually what you are going to do is download the add-on, it's typically a zip file, or in this case a RAR file, extract that file, then copy it over to your community folder and paste it right here. Now imagine you have hundreds and hundreds of add-ons. You might lose the focus on where to find a specific add-on, mainly because these are sometimes named in a confusing way. And if you think about liveries, it gets even worse. That's where the add-ons linker comes in very handy. The most effective way to use the add-ons linker is to first organize your add-ons by dividing them into categories. I'm going to show you how I did it, just to give you a quick example. Obviously, you don't need to do that the same way I did. You can do it however you like. So in my user directory, I have this folder MSFS add-ons, which contains the 2020 add-ons. And I have organized it into aircraft, airports, scenery, liveries, tools. Don't mind the development though. If you take a look at aircraft, it is further divided into the respective developers. If we take a look at fly-by-wire, then divided into the respective aircraft model. Same with airports and sceneries, divided into country, and then divided into the city, and so on and so forth. Well, I guess you get the point. Now you may ask, do I really need that? And the short answer is yes. I mean, it's literally the main feature of the application to keep your add-ons organized. Let's now switch to the add-ons linker to show you how it works. I have already downloaded it. This is the zip file, just extract it. And if you then open that extracted folder, you will find two executable files, add-ons linker executable and the add-ons linker 2024. Let's start with the 2021. If you open the application for the first time, it will ask you where to find your MSFS 2020 community folder. Click on the three dots right here and select your community folder. Mine is in the D drive, MSFS, packages and community. Hit OK and then it will save it. Now then go up here and click on add. Now what you want to select is your organized add-ons folder. Mine is on my uh, user directory. It's this one right here, MSFS add-ons. Hit OK, then you will have this new entry. And then click OK to save. The application then will open up and then you will see the same organized view as before. If you now want to let's say activate uh, an airport for let's say berlin just expand here germany berlin and check that box and what the program does is creates something that is called a symbolic link you can imagine that as if you would have a shelf full of books this shelf full of books is your organized add-ons folder and what this add-ons linker does is it creates a note for someone, in this case, the simulator, on where to find the actual content of that book. If you haven't used this application until today, I would really encourage you to do that. It makes your life as a virtual pilot a lot easier. Now, this is how it worked for the Flight Sim 2020. All right, but what about 2024? Well, the same developer already created a new version for the new Flight Sim 2024 and you already have downloaded it. It's the same exact one. Now I showed you previously two files. Just click on the 2024 one and you will see very similar things. You will be asked now to enter your MSFS 2024 community folder. 
hit on the three dots. Mine is now in the C drive, MSFS 2024 community. Perfectly done. Now up here again, add a new entry and select your organized stuff, which is in my case, my user directory, MSFS 2024 add-ons, like this. All right, same as before. If you want, if you want to activate anything, you would just check the boxes. And if you now forgot to add your 2020 stuff in here, just go up here to tools, options, and then you will find that same window again. If you now click add, find your organized 2020 stuff and just select that. Hit OK and again OK. And here is your 2020 stuff. Now, if I want to activate the fly by wire aircraft, it's already activated. I'm gonna just check that box A380. Same thing with the liveries already activated and let's say we want to go to Dubai already activated all right then you are done then you will find all of your 2020 add-ons in 2024 they will be created again as previously as a symbolic link now if you did not organize your stuff in 2020 simply because maybe you are too lazy or you even didn't know about the application until today let me show you how to do that let's go again to options let's remove the 2020 entry because we already said you maybe did not organize your stuff let's remove that and what you are going to do is click add and instead of selecting your organized stuff just select your MSFS 2020 community folder, which is again, D drive MSFS packages community. If you do that and hit OK, you will see here a new entry, which is called community and all of your stuff in 2020 is right here. And if you want to activate it, well, guess what? you only need to check the boxes that you want to activate and that's it now let's go inside the sim and see if that actually worked and here we are at dubai international airport in front of the huge a380 in the new flight sim 2024 you may say why even bother i'm gonna just copy all my stuff to 2024 of course you can do that if you want it's up to you but keep in mind that you would need twice the amount of space if you copy all your stuff over to 2024. Now this is definitely not how a pilot should look like. This dude is definitely lost in here. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please hit that like button and subscribe to always be up to date. Thank you very much and hopefully see you in the next one.